Hi and welcome to this tutorial to build your painting skills. This painting session builds brushwork skills with hard edge painting and the application of a tonal drop shadow. This painting should take you about 60 minutes to complete. First, let's mark out a 15 cm by 15 cm square on our paper. I'll include the drafted image now, in case you prefer to trace what we will paint. If you decide to do this, use the chapter markers to later jump to the painting section. Feel free to continue watching to see how I break down the rendering of the letter. Create a line down the middle of the page. I place a tick at the top and one at the bottom. And then extend the line. I'm going to add this third line as this will be the bottom of the shape. The lowest line there will be where the end of the drop shadow is. I mark out about four centimeters on each side. This is for the width of the shape. I then create the diagonals for both sides. Next, I give some thickness to this. I then add the horizontal segment and give it thickness as well. At the top, I mark off some equal measurements to later add decoration to the letter. I do this at the bottom parts as well. Next, I'll draw in some circles in the center of each section. I then create these arches and then join them to the sides of the letter. Next, create lines in the center of all three sections. For the horizontal section, let's create this on an angle. Copy what I do. Now let's create the drop shadow. The drop shadow tapers towards the bottom. Extend all the drop shadow lines as I do. I'll just tidy up some of my lines here and we'll be ready to start painting. I'll shade in this area just to give you a sense of what we will create. You do not have to do this unless you want to. For this painting, I'll be using a small filbert brush which has curved bristles, a flat brush and a round brush. On our palette, we will use yellow, blue, red and white. You are welcome to use different colors if you wish. I also have a water container to rinse my brush between colors and a rag to wipe my brush should I need to, but a paper towel is also fine. To start, take the flat brush and mix some yellow into the white to create a creamy color. Paint the entire page. Since the color is light, the pencil mark should still show through the paint. If you use different colors, you may want to check this beforehand. Once done, let it dry or use a blow dryer. Next, mix some white with the red to create a pink. You can experiment with the ratios to your liking. We will begin painting the lighter areas for the letter. Note how I use my brush. I fan the bristles in the paint and lie the edge of the bristles to the edge of the line. For comfort, I like to work on all similar sides first. Feel free to rotate your work as it is always easier to paint towards yourself. For the small cornered areas, I'll switch to the round brush. I only use the very tip of the brush here and rest my hand on the work to keep it steady. Now let's move on to the red sections. So you see here I accidentally smear the paint. If that happens, try wiping it away towards the area you painted. Luckily, this area will be blue so it will cover the mistake. Here I am dabbing the brush lightly to create the straight line. To 
Complete all these areas as done with the paint. Apply a second coat if required. We'll now create a pale blue to complete these areas. This time, I'll try creating the line work with the round brush. You see I have now used three techniques. Choose which one works best for you. With the round brush, I am only using the very tip of the brush as explained earlier. Complete all these light blue sections as I do. Apply a second coat if required. Now let's go on to the dark blue areas to complete the painting. Apply a second coat if required. If we reflected on our painting, what might we do better next time? Overall, I am pleased with the work, especially since it was rendered fairly freehand. If you found creating a hard edge difficult, one thing you could consider is using masking tape for the straight areas. I hope this video has helped you develop your skills. Be sure to check out some of the other videos to keep improving. Painting takes time and practice. Don't give up.